Hi, it's Chris, K2CJB. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Soda Beams Speech Compressor Test Part 3. <laughs> and I promise this will be the last one. Um, if you remember, I had a problem with the, uh, I noticed that the tone that uh, is built into the speech compressor to aid in antenna tuning, um, when you would press the down button and the push the talk button simultaneously, uh, I wasn't hearing the tone. So I sent an email off to Richard at Soda Beams and he quickly responded. I mean, I heard from him the next day over the weekend. He said he didn't have a unit that he could test it with himself, but he forwarded my email and copied me on it to uh, the product designer at Funk Amateur in Germany. I heard back from them about two days later, uh, which was quick in my book, uh, from Peter at Funk Amateur in Germany. And he told me that the tone level is actually low. So it's not something you're gonna really hear, um, like on a radio, like the way I was trying to test it the other day with, with the radio you know, right next to the, next to the transmitting uh, microphone, which was getting feedback and everything else. So it really wasn't a good test. Um, so what I'm doing today is uh, I took my little Grundig um, portable Yacht Boy radio out here. Um, it's kind of beat up, but it's working. And I'm plugging a headphone into that. And that way I can reduce the amount of uh, audio that's floating around with an open mic. And um, we won't get any feedback, hopefully. And we can see if we hear the tone. So uh, let me show you how we have things set up and uh, we'll see how things go. Okay, so here's the, uh, the 817 with the counterpoise on it. I've got the MFJ 20 meter whip on it uh, with battery there just to operate things. Here's the soda beam um, speech compressor plugged into the mic line. And over here I have a set of headphones that are plugged into my Grundig. <laughs> so let's see, we're at 14, 335. So we're going to put in 14, 335. Okay, so now the Grundig is listening to the same frequency that the Yezu is transmitting on. And what I'm going to do is, literally, I'm going to just put the phone that I'm recording this on down next to the headphones so we can get an idea what it sounds like. Okay, so here we go with the test. And now I'm going to press the, uh, the push to talk and down button together and you'll hear the tone. So we can hear that there is a tone when you press the push to talk and the down button simultaneously on the microphone for the 817. So that means that that works. So right now the soda beams works just fine. The, the, the speech compressor works fine. I adjusted the SSB mic level when I had the headphones out here so I could hear it. Um, sort of an off-air test. And I adjusted the, the SSB mic level in the 817 to between 45 and 50, somewhere in there seems to be a good spot for it. I'll find that out when I really get out in the field and, um, and make some contacts with it. Um, so thumbs up to the, uh, the folks at uh, Soda Beams for the quick response and thumbs up to the folks at Funk Amateur for a quick response and explaining things uh, to me. So, and it does work, it works just fine. Um, so there you have it. Um, that's the last of these soda beams tests. The next thing will be to go out there and try it on the air. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. And hey, if it helped, give me a thumbs up and, uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll give you more of these, uh, these tidbits as we go along. 73 K2 CJB.